Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to post fuel scale charges within Sage 200. Before we can start this process there's a couple of things that you'll need to know. Firstly you'll need to know the CO2 emissions of your vehicle and secondly you'll need to know how frequently you submit your VAT return. By this I mean do you submit your VAT return monthly or quarterly. Once you have both of these details you can then go to the gov.uk website to establish the charges that will need to be journaled. So let's do that first. So here you can see I've gone to the gov.uk website forward slash fuel dash scale dash charge. On this page it will explain to you what information you need to know and why you need to post this into your accounting system. And if you scroll to the bottom of the page you can click on start now for the calculator itself. It's only going to ask me three very simple questions. Firstly, it asks me for which period I want to calculate the fuel scale charge. So I'm going to select the 1st of May 2019 to 30th of May 2020 and then click on next step. Then it's going to ask me how frequently I submit my VAT return. So I'm going to say every three months, quarterly, next step. It's then going to ask me what CO2 emission might band my vehicle is in. So that's 145 to 149 for my example. And then next step, it'll take you through to a final screen where it's calculated what your scale charge needs to be for each quarter of your VAT returns. So for my vehicle, the fuel scale charge for 2019 to 2020 is 280 pounds per quarter which is made up of a basic charge of £233.33 plus a batch charge of £46.67. Once I have this information, I can go to Sage 200 to post my first journal. So here's my Sage 200 system. I'm already in my nominal list, but before I post my first journal, I need to make sure that I've got the correct nominal code set up in the system. So let me just show you what those nominal codes are. I only need two nominal codes for this posting. I need a VAT output control account on the balance sheet, or on your system it might be called the VAT sales tax control account. And then on the profit and loss, I need a scale charges nominal code. So here you can see I've got the scale charges nominal code, which is also linked to a cost center and departments in my test data. So let me just switch that filter off, clear my list, and then I can click on the journal entry button on the top of my nominal list. My journal entry will be a new journal entry type, and I can enter my journal title. So I'm going to enter scale, charges, quarter two for my example, and normally quite useful to put the vehicle registration into the narrative. The journal date needs to be a date within the back quarter that your submission's for. I always like to date my journals, journals for these kind of um, amendments and final data entries as the last date of the back quarter because it's nice and easy to find those transactions then on my reports and my submissions. And then the posting type will be single entry. Once the header information is complete, we can go to Journal Transactions and we can start to enter the journal itself, which is going to comprise of three lines. The first line is going to go to my nominal code 51607, Cost Center Admin, Department Admin. I'm going to leave the, leave the narrative as is. This first line actually won't affect my VAT return, so I'm going to leave the VAT type as NA and enter my debit value of £280. So if I just go back to the gov.uk website, you can see that that's my quarter's return value on that first line of the journal. And then I'm going to pop back into Sage 200 to enter my second line, which is going to go to 26100 and will be the VAT element of my journal. Again, I'm going to leave the description as is, but this time I need to update the VAT type, and that needs to be output VAT with a VAT code of standard rate, 
and it's going to be a credit value of £46.67. And if you just go back to the gov.uk website, you can see that that's the element I've entered, the 4667. And now we can enter the final line of our journal in Sage 200. That's going to go back to my 51607 code, which is my scale charge code on my PL. And this time the VAT type will be output goods. Again, it will be standard rate. And for my journal, it'll be £233.33. £33. But remember, these values will vary depending on your, the frequency of your submission, the year of your submission, and the CO2 um, emission value. Okay. So once I've got those three lines entered, my journal will balance to zero, and then I can simply click on post, and my scale charges have been entered into Sage 200. Here I've got my journal reference confirmation number come up, and I can click on OK. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.